Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at the new FaceTime for Mac. So FaceTime is the ability for new iPhones and the iPod Touch to make video phone calls. And Previously you could only call from iPhone to iPhone but now you could also place and receive calls on your Mac with the new beta of FaceTime for Mac. First thing you need to do is go to the Apple website and download it. So to set it up you need an Apple ID and you can create one right inside of the FaceTime application. You can use the Apple ID that you use for your iTunes account or for MobileMe or if you've never done an Apple ID before you can create one right there. Next you need to link an email address to be used as your FaceTime phone number. You need some sort of identifier so somebody can call you and of course your Mac doesn't have a phone number. So you can use the one that's associated with your Apple ID or you can add a separate one, add several of them and these will be what somebody could use to actually place a video phone call to you. Now to place a video phone call from your Mac what you need to do is first add the information for the person you want to call to your address book. There's no way to add information like that inside the FaceTime application and you can't make a call by simply entering an email address or phone number. So once you've added it to your address book then you can just select that person from the list. If there's multiple ways to call them like say an email address and a phone number it will ask you which one you want to use. And then you can just place the call. So that's basically it. It was very easy. All I did was click on one of my friends. I uh, called Leo Quinn and just had his phone number in there which was his iPhone phone number and it immediately came up as an incoming video call. He took it and it showed up on my screen. It was very simple. Now if you've got a Mac that you're calling to then what will happen is the Mac will actually show an incoming call as well. You don't even have to have FaceTime running. Just having it installed is enough to then launch FaceTime when a call comes in and give you the option to accept or decline the call. If you want to turn that off, say not receive incoming calls for a while, you can go into the FaceTime preferences and switch FaceTime off. Now if you're calling to another Mac and that person just needs to have FaceTime installed. If you're calling to an iPhone or iPod Touch then that person needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi network since FaceTime doesn't work over the mobile networks. Now, What's cool is somebody on an iPhone or iPod Touch can call your Mac. All they need to do is click on the FaceTime button for your contact and then it will ask them to select either the email address or phone number to call. If they select an email address you've assigned to FaceTime on your Mac it will put the call through and your Mac will then notify you that a call is coming in and launch FaceTime give you a chance to accept or decline the call. There's so also some orientation features. Somebody with the iPhone can turn it on its side and your Mac will automatically switch to show a widescreen view of them. Likewise on a Mac you can click a button and actually switch from the vertical default view to a widescreen view that they would then see on their Mac or iPhone device. You can also jump to full screen on your Mac if you want. You always see a picture of you in the corner so that you could see how well you're framed in the shot and you see them as the main screen. So this duplicates a lot of functionality we already had available in iChat. The difference is that now you can actually place these calls to the iPhone and iPod Touch and it's a much simpler method of calling and it gets completely away from the MobileMe slash AOL uh, networks that iChat uses and it takes you into this entire new FaceTime thing. And since FaceTime is something that Apple plans to distribute as kind of an open framework then it means other devices may soon be able to actually make calls to and from your Mac as well. So I hope you like this look at FaceTime for Mac. Go get it now and give it a try. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top, and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad videos by category.